I hate to go down this road on these videos, but we're going down this road. Doctor just called me back. The, not the doctor. One of the nurses from Laverne Urgent Care. And insisted that I had the coronavirus. Insisted. She just, she just wouldn't stop saying it. She's like, I just want to tell you that you're positive. I'm like, lady, you can take your stupid test. Because I don't have the coronavirus. I have a test from the same day, from the same laboratory, that says negative. So I don't know what your people are testing. And I said, better than that, how you're calling me today, someone called me the other day and said I was negative, and then I went to pick up my paper and they said I was positive. So I said, you can keep your stupid paper. She goes, no, I just want to inform you that you have coronavirus. And I said, I don't have coronavirus, thank you very much. And she just didn't understand. She also doesn't understand that the first, second, and third, fourth time I've asked every person administering this test, is this test 100% accurate? And all of them said, no, it's not 100% accurate. I asked her how long she's been working with the coronavirus. She said, since it started. I said, am I the first person that you've had that's had a test like this? She said, yeah. You know why? Because most people are too stupid to do two tests. If someone says you have something... You'll know if you're sick. Like Antoinette knew when it came back positive, she knew she was sick. If you don't have the coronavirus and someone tells you you're sick, you could probably think yourself into it. I'm pretty sure of it. You could think yourself into it. Or you actually are sick and you will know that your body is in pain or some kind of discomfort and you'll do the appropriate things. This is the first time in history that they take healthy people and they give them a test that wasn't created for the thing that they're testing for. And then they tell you that you have the thing that they're testing for, that the test wasn't designed to pick up, and that they don't know what they're testing for. It says it right on the test. It says it right on the test. I don't know if you guys know what legalese is, or Black's Law Book, or uh, Ocean Law, Marine Law, I mean. The way the laws are written, they're not written for regular people to understand. So on this test, it says Primex Clinical Laboratories employs methods that utilize nucleic acid amplification such as RT-PCR and or TMA, transcription medicated amplification, for detection of the SARS-CoV-2 COVID-19. These tests were development and their performance characteristics determined by Primex Clinical Laboratories. So this lab was made by the people administering the test. I'll read that again. These tests were developed and their performance characteristics determined by Primex Clinical Laboratories. These tests have not been cleared. I'll read that again. These tests have not been cleared or approved by the FDA. These tests have been authorized by the FDA under emergency use authorization. These tests have been authorized by the FDA under emergency use authorization. These tests are only authorized for the duration of the time that circumstances exist, justifying the authorization of emergency use of the in vitro diagnostic test for detection of SARS-CoV-2 virus and or diagnosis of COVID-19 infection under Section 564B1 of Act 21 USC. 36 BBB 3 B1, unless the authorization is terminated or revoked sooner. These tests performs, performed at, unless otherwise specified, all tests performed at Primex Clinical Lab, 16742 Stag Street, Unit 120, Van Nuys, California. I'll read sentence number two again. <clears throat> These tests were developed in their performance characteristic determined by Primex Clinical Laboratories. So, I have a contractor's license by the state of California. And in order for me to pass an inspection, I have to take the test or do the work that the state of California says I should do to pass the test. According to this, Primex made up their own test. Do you understand what these tests, I can't flip it around. These tests were developed and their performance characteristics determined by products clinical laboratories. That's like me making up my own test and my own inspection and then giving the report. 
Like, there's no other third part. The, the FDA is not approving it. It says it's not been authorized by the FDA. Because they're only use under emergency. And FDA, you know who works for them, is the people that make the vaccine. There is a coronavirus. Um, I don't remember how many months ago. About six months ago, somebody offered a huge cash reward to the person that could identify it and isolate the molecule. No one's been able to do that yet. That's the problem with it, is you can't identify it. The people that made it, made it that way, obviously. I'm just telling you my own experience. <laughs> if you think I'm a wacko, tune in because I got more for you. But if you think this is right information, you know, already know. It's, it's, it's called the Great Awakening for a reason, you know. I've been aware of some things that haven't been on television for years. I don't even know what started this road. But uh, the truth is out there. These evil people that made this thing will be found out. The whole testing system just boggles my mind that the lady's going to argue with me and she's going to try to tell me I'm sick. That's just incredible. Three times. She's... No, I just want to make you aware that you have... I said, lady, I have a test taken on the same day from the same laboratory that confirms that I don't have coronavirus. I'm living through this thing. And I've had a lot to say for years, but this one, I just, I can't hold back. Maybe because Antoinette's not here to filter these videos for me, you know? I hope none of you guys ever have to go through this. If you do go through it, learn from my lessons, learn from my experiences. Guard your mind. Guard your mind. People are out there telling healthy people that they're sick. You must guard your mind. These people in medical swore oath to protect and build healthy bodies, and they're telling healthy people because this laboratory says something that you're te they're telling them another thing you know I mean I've been in the line at the hospital to go in I got my negative COVID test the guy in front of me is like I have COVID he says it so there's a, you have to go through a bunch of checkpoints to get in the hospital it's like entering a, a prison or something they know except they keep you out so you go through the checkpoint the guy in front of me is like I have COVID-19 you know, the girlfriend, she's like, okay, you know, it's not a big thing. It's like a lot of people say they have it. Then there's a few that get really sick. The hospital is not that big. It's not jammed full with people in patient beds. It's full. They definitely don't have a bunch of empty rooms. Um, there's no one intense, you know, none of that. None of like they, they tried to say how Los Angeles was burning down from coronavirus. There's a bunch of people with the vaccine catching the coronavirus too. So I don't know what to do about that. You know, it might work for some people. It might not work. I don't know. I don't know. I just keep hearing the stories. You know, I'm just the messenger. These people call me. They're like, hey, this is what happened. The so-and-so has the vaccine. They just got coronavirus. Supposedly, it's not supposed to be as bad if you have the vaccine. I don't know what as bad means, you know. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Antoinette is no news is good news. We'll get the report tonight. Ah, what a day. What a day. I miss you, Antoinette. I've been on the computer all day. I have two computers out. She does a lot. She does a lot. I know how to do this part. I don't like doing this part. It's not my favorite. She's more efficient at it than me. That's why the first thing I quit doing was anything that had to do with computers or paperwork. She could handle all that. And she's excellent at it. She's very powerful on the keyboard. So, we miss you, baby. Come back and get to work. Talk to you guys next time.